Uh, good morning. Uh, my name is Rick Langell. I'm the founder and CEO of Harvest Today. We are based in Broomfield, Colorado. Harvest Today is focused on manufacturing controlled environment agriculture equipment and doing it in a vertical way. Uh, we were totally drawn to the industry. Um, well, I'm a farm boy. I grew up in Stonewall, Manitoba. Uh, the traditional agriculture is, is not being able to produce sustainable um, leafy greens and herbs. The number of food miles that the world is actually actually transporting uh, fresh vegetables uh, to get to our plates is, is just too much and we have to do something so we want to be we want to be uh, change makers we want to be able to be pointed to those are the people that started something or are part of an industry that is truly trying to uh, take the world to think about food in a different way to be able to produce food in a sustainable way closer to where it's consumed in the world of hydroponics, you either go a little garnish, something that doesn't produce a whole lot of food, or now I'm big, right? So that struck me quite quickly as being something that's not scalable. We wanted to come up with a way that we could grow a wall that suits the needs of a consumer in their home, be it their kitchen, or in a grow room down in the basement, or out in a small, uh, um, uh, greenhouse, right? Or be able to scale it all the way up to a serious uh, controlled environment uh, farm. So we're um, the, the the foundation of what we've created is the tile. So um, this is this is our tile, and it is what our patent um, and our our design is really all about. So we we use a combination of of peat cups. So we use a, a, a nice little two-inch peat cup. You'll be amazed how large a plant this 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 will support, and and cocoa core as a organic medium that actually allows the the plant to grow as naturally as possible um, to the earth. Okay, so that pot goes into this tile. The water flows naturally on the on the on the back here that actually redirects it. So that's why we see good even water distribution from the top to the bottom and then I can take this tile and I can now build it I can go vertically as high as five tiles high so that that would make your wall seven feet tall and now I can go in width like this right and this is four so the largest door that we can do uh, horizontally is six tiles so in a double door setup we can go 12 tiles wide and five high which makes one surface 360 plants okay well this particular unit that's here on display at at the uh, at the farm show the Canadian farm show here is two-sided so this machine in what we call a mega wall is 720 plants in 16 square feet that's that's pretty amazing right The, uh, the bottom of the units uh, is features is where we have our, our was a reservoir. The reservoir can be loaded in with a bucket. You can open up the door and pour it in. You can pipe it in uh, so we can get water into the water tank and in a reservoir. So that also allows a farmer to keep their, their nutrient solutions, control their pHs, all those things uh, very specific to a crop that's growing in this particular wall. Or you could put them all together and have a um, a, a normal uh, nutrient solution from multiple walls. You're as a farmer. Those are the decisions that you get to make. Okay, the the controller uh, controls the pump. The water is is uh, piped up to the top here, uh, and I could show you the. It's nested in here pretty nice and tight. So there is a, a hose and a, and a nozzle, and it diffuses the water across the flood rail, and the flood rail comes down and um, and distributes the water 
it from the top to the bottom, evenly, evenly uh, um, watering the wall. Uh, we've set it all up with an app, so I can show you um, our app here, and I can connect to it. This is running, so the Canadian Farm Show is is what we're calling this. I can test the pump, so you can see it's flashing now. The, the pump is actually running. So here it is running right now, Tim. Um, so we've got um, we've got the front turned off, so we don't get the floor wet, right? Uh, the back is running, so you can see the water's coming down, and it's um, evenly uh, distributed across the width of the flood rail. And I can control I can control the uh, the water by uh, changing the frequency and um, the the length of the number of minutes that the um, that the app runs because we want to control the amount of water that the plants are getting based on the stage that they're at. If we're talking about you know young plants that we've just started seeding, we really don't want to probably weather weather it or water it sorry water it more than a couple times every two three days. But once we get the wall full up and growing of vegetating let's say kale or 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 this leafy green uh, lettuces, then they're going to go through, a, a mega wall will go through four to five gallons of water a day, okay? And that reservoir holds, I'm sorry I'm not going metric on you, uh, but um, the um, it's 28 gallons of, of uh, nutrient solution. So if you were a farmer, you could fill it all up and you could, you know, you could leave it for a couple days before you have to tend to it or pipe it all up to a bigger nutrient solution uh, tank and distribute the water that way to the farms. Now the other one would be you'd want to keep it separate and be able to control the watering if it was a different, um, let's say basil for example, or mint. Those types of spices actually like to stay fairly dry. The app allows us to adjust that that's um, uh, appropriate for that particular crop. Now, we've seen uh, people mix crops together absolutely all the time in the, in the wall. It doesn't really matter, but that means it's not best case. In other words, if I was doing this in my house, I, I would absolutely mix basil and mint and tarragon and uh, kale and um, lettuce. Uh, we've got a farmer up in Edmonton that's growing peppers in the wall right now. Was, they're fantastic. So she she did get them to go from seed seed to, to um, actually yielding um, uh, fruit, uh, some peppers in eight weeks. Yeah. So that again, controlled environment. I've got the light. Uh, I'm giving it 16 hours on, eight hours off. So the plants grow at an amazing velocity, much faster than outdoors. So Andrew, you asked me about um, the, the plants in the root system. One of the things, so you have to realize these plants are only, uh, they're only eight, uh, three weeks from seed. So they've obviously grown pretty good. This is an arugula plant. Um, we will start to see the, um, the, the roots coming out of the pot, but that takes the better part of five to six weeks. But they don't really go much further than that. Why? Because the, the, the root mass that's developed in the cocoa core is getting enough um, enough nutrient solution in the pot to actually make the plant grow faster. We don't see huge uh, root developments at all um, and if you were to see some of our, our uh, video from some of the other farms you'd see that the plants matured at two months, three months or four months they still don't get a lot of root outside the pot at all because the plant is actually using most of that um, growing energy to actually produce more edible edible produce. Well, if anybody wants any more information about Harvest Today, um, we invite you to come to our website at harvest.today. Uh, and uh, we've got uh, a wonderful resource there for people growing uh, both um, with our products, uh, our, our um, Content information about how to how to contact us, how to order it, how to size it. Uh, all that information is, is on our website. Yeah, that's a great question. Actually, it was designed specifically to be packaged, right? So today we're actually exporting a, quite a few parts. Uh, a really nice farm uh, starting up in uh, St. Uh, St. John's, uh, or in, no, sorry, St. Thomas in the U.S. Virgin Islands, and um, multiple projects down in Chile, and another uh, really big project starting up in Australia. Um, the product was designed to be packed into a container. So if any commercial farmers are looking at this and they're interested in exporting 
bringing it to Europe or, or Africa or whatever, um, we do we can fit 80 of our large farms into a 40 foot container. 80 of them. That's a lot, right? Especially with the the, the cost of freight these days. We were uh, we were absolutely tuned into that need from a long time ago. So if you get a, a harvest today wall uh, shipped to you, it will come in uh, depending on it. One great big long box, and then some smaller boxes where the tiles fit.